Hi everyone, in this video I'll be discussing about Crystal Disk Info. It's a free program that allows you to monitor the health of your computer storage devices like a hard drive or an SSD, solid state drive. It has a dashboard that will tell you how long it's been running, temperature, and if there's any issues. It uses SMART, which is self-monitoring analysis and reporting technology to get this information from the drive. So I'm going to be downloading it and I'll be showing you a drive that I have that is good and that is bad, a NVMe drive, an SSD, and a regular hard disk drive. So to start, just go to Google and search for Crystal Disk Info, download, and then you can see the first link here, Crystal Disk Info. And if you scroll down, there's different editions here and you can get the standard edition. So I'm just going to hit download. And I'm going to download the installer. And it's going to go to SourceForge to download it. All right, it's downloaded. So I'm going to install it. Next. And I'm just going to use the default. Next, 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 install. And I'm going to launch it. So the first drive I have here, it's an Intel SSD drive. It's 512 gigabytes and the health status is good. Temperature is 43 degrees Celsius. And then there's the firmware, the serial number, the interface, NVMe, and there's drive letter and then standard. And then the features that are on here, smart trim and volatile write cache. And we can see here the total host reads, the writes, the rotation rates, there's none because this is an SSD and the power on count, 494 counts, and then how long that's been on, 874 hours. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the number of days. So 36 days and 10 hours. And then at the bottom here, there's the different attributes that you can see. For example, the critical warning, comps to temperature, available spare, available spare threshold, percentage used, data units read, written, host read commands, write commands, busy time, power cycle, power on hours, unsafe shutdowns, media and data integrity errors, and number of error information log entries. So this is a good drive that I have here. There's no issues with it. And then now I'm going to go to a bad drive that I have. So this is going to be my D and E drive, and this is an A data drive. And it's a 128 gig drive here, and it's a SATA drive, as we can see here. And we can see that the health status is bad, it's 0%, and the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. And you can see here on the right hand side, see the power on hours, it's, I've only used it for 40 days and nine hours, and it's already bad. And you can see under the attributes that are bad here, the spare block count and the, the drive life. And I'm going to plug in an external drive now. And this one is a regular hard disk, so it's not an SSD. And if I go to disk, it doesn't pop up automatically. I will need to do a rescan. So go to function and rescan. And then you'll see that it pops up. So I'll go to it. And so this is a Western digital drive. And you can see that the health status, it doesn't give a percentage, it says it's good. And you can see on the right-hand side, the rotation rate, 5,400 RPM. So it's a slower drive. And the power on hours, 195 hours here. So it's been running eight days and three hours. Now what you can do is you can have this always running. So then it would always check to see if there's any issues. And you can go to function and you're going to go to keep running in system tray and go back and go to function. You can have it on startup. So it always starts up. And so there's also as well as alert features. So you can have it create a sound if there's an issue with one of your drives and you can go to the sound settings and this would increase or decrease the sound. So that's the sound that you'll hear if there's an issue with your drive. As you've probably heard at the beginning when I started this up with my bad drive there. 
going back to function, alert features, and then we can go to mail settings. So we can have it send an email to you. And so going back onto the Crystal Mark Info site and going down and then where it says alert mail. So I'm going to click on it. And then these are the mail settings. And so here's an example, the setting examples for Gmail, iCloud, and Outlook. And so I am going to use Outlook as an example here. All right, so I've put in my email settings here and then I put in my free message template, drive issue detected, and in the body, drive issue detected, please check your drive. And now I'm going to hit test email just to make sure I receive the email. All right, so I've received my test email here, as you can see, and it says the PC name, disk name, serial number, C, and then type message, drive issue detected, please check your drive. So going back to crystal disk info, I'm going to hit OK function. So under advanced features, there are some features here that you can enable or disable. And if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead. Generally, the default settings are good enough. So I'm just going to leave them as they are. And under theme here, you can change the theme, how it looks like. So for example, dark theme, or for example, flat square, and I'll just change the appearance of it. So that's it. That's a quick overview of how you can use Crystal Disk Info to monitor the health of your drives. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.